Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an error that says the application cannot be run under a virtual machine. So if you do run virtual machines or virtual environments, this is not that uncommon of an issue, especially with certain types of software. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. So the first thing I'd actually recommend doing is making a snapshot or back above your computer registry. Even though if you're in a virtual environment, I really wouldn't be that concerned with. But again, just going to go underneath regedit here. Kind of preluded to where we're going to be heading. Going to open up the user account control. So you want to, again, like I said, make a snapshot of your virtual environment or create a backup of your registry just doing file and then export and then import the backup once it's done. If you ever made a mistake, you could just import it back in. So in order to resolve this, we're going to go expand the HK local machine subfolder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it. And then you want to do the same thing for hardware. And then do the same thing for description. And then expand the system here. So once you've expanded the system, you want to go ahead and just left click on the system folder just left clicking on it one time will suffice and now on the right side I'm going to expand the disk between name and type should be something that says system BIOS version right here I'm going to right click on it left click on modify so now that we're in here you want to type in no box so delete whatever the value that is in here type no BOX again like exactly how it appears on my screen so again no box this is very important here then you want to do a space minus one so again no box space minus one once you're done doing that you want to go ahead and left click on OK and then you just left click on OK for any further prompts once you're done doing that, you want to go underneath video BIOS version. Now if you're using a virtual box, there might be another file in here, another value that says video BIOS version. You would right click on that one again, then just left click on modify. There's going to be a whole bunch of information here. It would probably say like Oracle VMware virtual box version. You would just delete all of that. Again, I'm in VMware workstation, so it's not going to be the same as VM virtual box for Oracle slightly different so you should go in delete whatever's in the value data and then just left click on OK you wouldn't actually type anything into that field you just would delete whatever's in there and once you're done with that you would restart your computer and hopefully once you've restarted everything should be good and back up and running so as always thank you guys for watching do I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye